My client is the one who is likely to suffer most in case these sensational matters are not dealt with effectively. Starting with a date that is more of drama than reality is seeing a speck in the other person's eye when the log is in the other person's eye. One of the things I think I ought to place on record is this. The, th the forms that are now in issue have not been pleaded, were not tendered, and since they were not pleaded and they were not tendered, we should not be accused of no, not having responded to them. Point number two, both agents have made a legitimate, or, or uh, have made an innocent mistake about the date. And I don't see where the laughter is emanating from. Point number three, the form itself shows a contrary position to that which was sensationally displayed before this court. The sensational reporting that was made was intended to convey a picture which is to the opposite of what the form now before the court conveys. And that reminds me of that very unfortunate day in 2017 at 9 p.m. that again sensational claims were made about forms 34B from Mombasa, in particular Shangamwe, made also to this court and which led to a nullification of a presidential contest. Madam CJ, there is also one more thing that concerns my client. Because again, it has very prejudicial effect. It is what is definition of the commission. I will spend one or two minutes defining the various ways commission is defined in the law. Commission is first and foremost defined in Article 88. Commission is also defined. Uh, Sorry, uh, if we open the matter now to other things, we will not see an end to this. You were responding to the two forms which were introduced. As new evidence. Yes, please don't go to other things <laughs> that you are not supposed to because we will not see an end to this. I, I still have with, my time. With respect, even well, if you have your time. For the governor, even if you have your time. Thank you. Just deal with the two forms. So then, the, coming back to the forms, uh, my request is this. Please delete from the, uh, uh, yes, the other thing is that uh, all the, the, the form now before you has safety security features. The one that was displayed does not have. The one that you have does not have the name of Jos Camargo. The one that was displayed before the court has that name of Jos Camargo. The original one you now have does not have that name. And all those things were meant to deceive. They were meant to mislead. Um, we should never have to ask that we remain the way we started. We should never have to ask that. Particularly from such eminent lawyers. The one that you have does not have any of those things that were displayed. My client therefore becomes quite concerned whether this case is to be adjudicated in the realm of falsehoods or within the parameters of factual contestations. That is a real concern. The minute we allow matters which are clearly false to infiltrate into the record of this court, we are likely to get into a very, very unfair decision. Let this case be decided on factual points and on factual contestations. We, we say the same about the second form that we, the, the original has not been provided. But as regards the second one, allow me to say this, before this contest started, IBC 
did uh, avail to this honorable court all the forms 34 A's. All of them were deposited because we did see that correspondence. Consequently, as regards the second form, I would request this honorable court to find time to look for it, the certified copy, and in case, once again, it does not have this JAWS, whatever name it is, please come to this conclusion that a deliberate effort was made by counsel to mislead this court so as to arrive at a decision which would be most injurious to the first and second respondents. I'm very grateful for the five minutes and I rest. Thank you very much. Um